I'm sure many of you have seen these horrific pictures by now. Jimmy the dog bound with duct tape and left to die. But we've got good news for you tonight. This one dog has now brought an entire community together. Brandon Morano shows us how. It's something that for most of us would be unimaginable, taking a defenseless animal and dumping it on the side of the road. This is what 13-year-old Jimmy the Dachshund looked like just a couple days ago. This is him now. Showing sometimes sad stories turn out with a happy ending. Oh, I'm surprised I'm not crying. I'm holding it in. <laughs> That's Jimmy's owner, Caitlin. Turns out his name isn't Jimmy. It's Flick. I saw the pictures and I busted out crying and I puked. <laughs> I know it's too much information, but it's just overwhelming. What Caitlin and a lot of other people are wondering is how someone could do something this horrible to something this cute. You know, like, he's a loving dog. We all see it. I just don't understand what possessed him to do it. But before she could take Flick home, Caitlin found out she'd have to pay 300 bucks in vet bills. Oh. She couldn't. Thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Cute dog. Until a complete stranger stepped up. Read about this story last night and uh, really touched me. And when you see in these pictures, I mean, it was just uh, heart wrenching. And, you know, when I was a kid, I had a dog look just like uh, Jimmy here. Yeah, what about that whole Jimmy or Flick situation? It's going to be Jimmy. We all know that. <laughs> I don't think he's Flick anymore. Thanks to a whole lot of support and love for a famous 13 year old. I'm literally so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm glad you guys found him. In Jefferson County, Brandon Morano, five on your side. Today we've learned more about Paul Garcia, the man accused of abusing Jimmy. He's just been indicted on federal gun charges. He also has a long list of criminal history, including theft, trespassing, and multiple convictions of domestic abuse. There's now a petition online pushing for the maximum sentence if he's found guilty.